This video is sponsored by brilliant sustainable clothing brand Organic Basics. Go take a look at their simple and gorgeous organic tees, underwear and activewear. Okay, it is time. It's another season, so let's do another anti-haul. It's winter, the holidays are coming up with all those parties and cozy walks around town and all of a sudden we get into shopping spree mode, don't we? Before we do, in the name of anti-consumerism and just like smart financial behavior, let's do a little anti-haul. Let's look at what we already have in our wardrobes to see if we can style what we already own in like new and thrilling ways. And let's look at the trends this season that we should maybe stay away from. Here are six of the things that I won't be investing in this winter because they're either short-lived trends, they're wrong for me personally, or because I already have a good option at home. Let's see if you agree. First, let's look at the short-lived trends. And the first one is metallics. So metallics used to be one of those incredibly short-lived trends that would just like make an appearance once per decade and then stay on trend for like six months and then disappear again. Nowadays though, I feel like metallics are coming back like every other year. And we even saw quite a lot of shiny pieces on the runway only this summer. Although metallics are usually such a very winter holiday type of trend. I will not be investing in any silver metallics this season. And the main reason for this is that it's just not very wearable. Like you put on that dress once and what then? You can't like repeat wear it over and over again, unless you want to be thought of as, you know, that silver lady. So when it comes to something as expensive as evening wear and outerwear, I only ever spend money if I know that I will get an incredible amount of wear out of the piece. Another thing about metallics, is not very mix and matchable with our other pieces in our wardrobes. And thirdly, a very personal opinion, I'm just not that into it. Like to go for a highly in your face material or print, I will have to be so in love with it that I know that I will wear it again and again without getting bored. Like my bright yellow vegan leather trench coat, for example, it's so in your face that it's not something that I would normally go for, but I love it. And I have gotten so, 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 so much wear out of it already. And I always feel like a gorgeous woman in that coat. So I think it's about, you know, getting to know ourselves and like figure out what we're only craving because it's shiny and new and which trends that we're craving because they actually fit with our long-term personal style and with the rest of the pieces of our wardrobe. And silver metallics, no, it's not for me this season. So I'm staying away. Okay, this next short-lived trend is to me quite mind-boggling. Like silver metallics, I can understand. We all go a bit sparkly crazy during the holidays, don't we? But in your face, head to toe red, that I don't really understand the allure of. And this particular red is not just red. It's, I don't know, it's like Christmas red. You know what I mean? Like Christmas tree baubles or like ribbons around presents, like a festive red. Okay, granted, I'm like the least red person you'll ever meet. I hardly own any single red items at all. So I'm the wrong target audience for this trend. I get zero cravings seeing these looks. So I think that we need to consult those of you who are red people. I mean, those of you who own a lot of red pieces and feel like it's one of your colors that you look best in. How are you girlies feeling about this particular Christmas red? Do you get the itch? Do you want it? I'm curious if there's an audience out there for this particular shade of red. And if so, whether you think a garment in this shade could become a long-term timeless favorite in your wardrobe or if you think that it's short-lived. I think it's definitely a good idea to stay away from this trend, no matter if you're into red or not, since I think that this particular shade will very quickly start to feel a bit dated. You know what I mean? Moving on to the trends that are just personally wrong for me. Like this happens to me every season. I see a trend that I find absolutely gorgeous, like so modern and so chic and just so, so exciting on others. And then I picture myself wearing the outfit and I know, don't I, that I will not feel as fine and attractive and chic in this as the person in the photo. This one simple realization that there are some silhouettes and colors and styles that no matter how wonderful they look on her will never make me feel pretty or sexy or cool. And I've told you this before, one type of item that I'm highly skeptical of 
is the maxi dress. I do own a couple of maxis that I get along with, but in general, most times I put in a maxi, I feel just like, meh. If the dress is skin tight, I feel like it highlights the wrong parts of me in a way I personally find kind of unflattering. And if the maxi is loose, I feel like I kind of lose all my sex appeal. And to me, when I feel at my best is when I feel like a bit either sexy or strong, or best of all, both at once, which I wear in a mini skirt or the little back dress, for example, but maxis, when I wear them, say neither sexy nor strong on me. But I know so many women and men that feel super sexy in maxis, so if you're one of them, this season is for you. If you know that maxis are your thing, go pilfer your own wardrobe and like dig out the ones that you already own. The longer, the better. Just adding a ton of chunky jewelry and a pair of heavy boots and you're all set for, you know, holiday party season. It's no news that in winter, the trends tend to go gothic. Victorian silhouettes and dark moody velvets and purple lipstick and smoky eyes. It's the season to be moody. One interpretation of this is to take something very unwintry and very unmoody like flowers and giving them the gothic treatment. So think subdued soft materials like big chunky flowers and a surprising lack of colors. These new florals are almost monochrome in grays and purples and greens, no matter the season. I'm not a flower girl though. When it comes to patterns, I tend to stick to the classics, stripes and checks. So dots and flowers and 60s graphics, mm, it's not really my type of thing personally. I have that one green baby doll dress that I do wear from time to time, and I will definitely be styling it for this season's gothic floral trend. But I remember when I got that one that it was a gamble, and I did get it for free as a part of a sponsorship, but I'm glad that I did, because now I have one floral pattern piece to style with, that's enough for me, just one. And if you have any floral pieces already, honestly, how many more do we really need? I'm all in favor of getting creative with what we already own. And like, honestly, so many of the autumn winter clothes you see me styling on here or on Instagram or, you know, on TikTok, I've seriously owned for like five or six years. I just dig them out and wear them again and again. So I have a very small selection of clothes considering the amount of fashion content I create. And you know, that's the way I like it. Like this sweater, for example, I think five or six years ago, I bought it back in Berlin. I remember David saying in the shop that he wasn't crazy about it, but I knew, I just knew that it was for me. And honestly, not once have I grown tired of it. I do have a big mustard stain on it somewhere, but I do kind of think that's just fitting, isn't it? Leaving my mark, you know? Anyway, florals. I will try to style a gothic floral look with my baby doll. And then I think I will just leave it at that. So time for the trends that I won't invest in because I already have a good option at home. And I want to start with a trend that's gorgeous, but oh, so impractical, the clutch. It is everywhere on the runways and on Insta. And yes, they are so nice, but uh, so difficult to use. How is that supposed to be practical? Your one hand is kept like occupied the whole night and you can't hang it over a chair back and your hand becomes this like exhausted, stiff claw hand after a while. No, just no. The only good clutch out there is the clutch that transforms into a shoulder bag. A chain or a strap or even like one clutch that I got sent last year, one of those like slide your arm in band thingies, which actually makes it so much more practical if not as practical as a chain, I have to say. One thing I've been doing to my clutches this season is to turn them into bum bags. Wait now, hear me out. This has become my favorite way of wearing bags because it's so much more comfortable than over the shoulder or like clutched in your little claw hand. Plus, it looks really just so cute and playful, don't you think? No more stiff necks, no more tired claw hands. I mean, Go fool around with your bags the next time you're going out and, you know, thank me later. Cute, 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 cute. Ah, my personal favorite trend right now that has been going on a while, the big eccentric granny energy layered outfits. I love this for two reasons. First of all, how energetic. It's just so charming and utterly attractive and such a clever way to express who we are, layering like mad women, just over the top Carrie Bradshaw gray garden thing it. The more, the better. I mean, just actually pushing the limits on how many pieces of items we can wear at any one time. 
socks over tights, under trousers, under a miniskirt, with a turtleneck, under a shirt, with a belt, some gloves, under a blazer, under a trench coat, with a scarf and sunglasses and a hat, plus all the jewellery. We can physically not carry any more items, that's when we stop layering. Nothing says laissez fair, languid, effortless, devil may care confidence like over layering. There are so many tremendous Instagram accounts out there doing this to an extreme, but still somehow highly successful level. Honestly, I can say that I've been like quite low key when it comes to my passion for style these last couple of years. Ever since lockdown, really, I kind of just like lost a bit of my styling energy and have been leaning back onto my like timeless, simple, very minimalistic looks in neutral colors. But I'm happy to say that the mad woman Jenny is back. This autumn, I felt so ridiculously in the mood to dress all whimsical and kind of unhinged and just like take David on four hour walks through the city, people watching and drinking coffee and, you know, having champagne in swanky hotel bars, which is basically my idea of a perfect date. So I'm having so much more fun with styling this autumn. And honestly, I'm realizing that like to create these like energetic laissez faire looks, I don't need to seriously buy anything. Oh yes, maybe some tights or like some socks because nothing is more beautiful right now than overlaid legs. I mean, how sweet is it with like tights under knee highs, under scrunchy socks and just like layering more and more. It's warm and toasty too. Recommend, recommend. But what are you thinking? Are you also feeling inspired to rummage around in that wardrobe of yours and go a bit unhinged with like over the top granny styling? Or are you feeling uninspired and a bit lost with your outfits this season? Also, which of these trends is your favorite? Is there a look that you want to achieve out of these ones with pieces you already have at home? Let's talk in the comments and do give me a thumb if you like these anti-haul videos and want me to continue making them. Or if you want me to make like a layering tips video to achieve like different types of winter looks. And of course, feel free to subscribe to not miss my next video. A big, big thank you to Organic Basics for sponsoring this video. You know how much I love their sustainable designs and seriously, both David and I wear them like more or less daily. And today I like to show you some lovely pieces from the core cotton collection, which are made of 95% organic cotton and 5% elastane. Now the holidays are just around the corner. So I thought that I'd help you out all with some epic gift ideas for your loved ones, or you know, just as a little gift for yourself. They actually have a Christmas gift guide on their website with ideas both for him and for her and for, you know, everyone else. So go take a look. I will, of course, leave a link below for that. I've got some great presents here for David, which will not be much of a surprise to him now since I'm talking about him with him behind the camera. So anyway, consider this an early Christmas gift for you, David. Um, first, we have the core slim tee in black and the core boxers in a mix of colors. And these are those types of basics that I know he's going to use on like a daily basis. He already has a couple of the tees and he wears them all the time. And to be honest, I also steal them from his wardrobe whenever I can. Out of all of our combined t-shirts, the organic basics ones are both David's and my favorites. They're so much more like kind of luxurious, the feel of them, and they like hang just right on you compared to other tees. Seriously, recommend, recommend. And I didn't just get gifts for David, but I also got some great things for myself, which can of course also be great Christmas gifts either for yourself or for someone else. I've got some beautiful new tops from them, like the core crop top in white. You know I love a crop. And I got this crop zip jacket that I will wear on my daily walks. I also received the white baby tee. And this is one of those tops that just goes with anything. One of those items is gonna be like a staple in my closet. On top of that, I have the Henley long sleeve tee with buttons at the top, and then a cropped thin cardigan called the Extend Rib Crop Cardigan, which is from the Come As You Are collection, also in black. And these are all so stylable, like they're so easy to wear with everything I already own, like true wardrobe basics. And like always with organic basics, the quality is just mwah. So guys, if you want to go get some holiday gifts from Organic Basics, just click the link below in the description and use my promo code MUSTARDOB for 10% off site-wide. And you can have a look at their full core cotton collection. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you to Organic Basics and thank you guys so much for watching today. See you next week. Puss puss.